Talk about the leadership that you guys have and how it helps the younger kids as well. Growing up with these guys and going through all these, all the hard times and the good times, these guys is what's really going to set us over the top. It's about 13 or 14 of us in the senior class, and every guy, I think, has something to bring to the table, whether it's in a leadership role, or it's a silent leader, lead by example, however you, whatever you say, just we're going to get it done. And we got some young guys that can lead just as well. Slam dunk, blowing somebody up on defense. Or touchdown? The win. <laughs> Neither of those three. I mean, slam dunk, if it's just two points. It's exciting play. It's great. A big hit to exciting play is great. I mean, they're all momentum changes. But at the end of the day, <laughs> the, the game, every sport is all about it's just a change of momentum, different runs. But at the end of the day, the guys that win are the, is the most important, no matter how you do it. Is it ever tough to have enough footballs to go around? Well, uh, we got uh, a lot of unselfish players. You know, our quarterback's been starting since ninth grade, and uh, our receiver's been starting since ninth grade, tailback uh, uh, Destin and Nelson. And then we have uh, a great linebacker in Skylar Miles and uh, a big-time player in uh, Christian Hardigree. Talk about this senior group a little bit. We just got a strong group right now. We got about 15 seniors right now, so we're just all hoping to get our team right and together and hopefully go far in the playoffs in the state championship. The wide receiver and a tailback that you've grown up through school with, how big is that as a quarterback? I think it's a big thing because one thing that's uh, it's overlooked in football is chemistry. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people have a misconception is we're just big meatheads. And I, I think one of the big things, you know, that's overlooked in a lot of successful teams is uh, when someone's on the ground, you pick them up. And the unsuccessful teams don't have that. You guys really are uh, set up pretty well for a good run this year. Yes, sir. I mean, we've been working hard all this offseason and all the three years prior together, and it's really about time to do something. So a lot of expectations, very high.